In this video, I want to talk about how Arsenal 2 Smart Mode can help you choose better settings for your photos. There's a lot that goes into creating a good photo. You need a good composition, good subject, things like lighting and atmosphere, they're extremely important. But you also have to make sure that your camera has the right settings, otherwise you're not going to effectively capture that shot. With Arsenal, we're trying to build one tool that handles a lot of the technical details of photography, so that when you're at the right place at the right time, you can just focus on the composition. Arsenal connects to your camera over USB, and you can control it and your camera from your phone. Or you can hold the power button down for three seconds to enable Arsenal's handheld mode. Arsenal is designed to be this set of tools to help you capture better photos. We're taking a lot of the advances in AI and computational photography and bringing those up to larger DSLR mirrorless cameras. For me, it all starts with settings. Things like aperture, ISO, shutter, they're crucial to make sure you get the photo you want. The challenge is there's no fixed set of rules for settings. It's extremely dependent on what you're shooting and the conditions you're shooting in. Auto modes on cameras, they try to use these very simple set of rules based on things like lens length and the amount of light hitting the sensor to choose settings. And because of that, the first piece of advice you'll get when you get into photography is take your camera off of auto mode. And they're not wrong. In my experience, cameras, auto modes generally do more harm than good. Instead of using simple rules, Arsenal suggests settings by using a deep learning neural network. The hardware has a data set of 200,000 great looking photos on it. So when you press the trigger button, Arsenal uses its neural network to find similar photos to the scene you're shooting. And by looking at the settings that were used to take those similar photos, it's able to figure out what it needs to optimize for your scene. Now, because conditions are always different, it can't just take those settings and apply them to your shot. So we have a process where Arsenal looks at 22 different factors to fine tune those settings so that it works well in the conditions that you're shooting. With camera settings, you're always balancing between these different trade-offs. And what Arsenal 2's AI can really do is make the most of the available light that you have. If you're taking a shot and all the similar photos are doing a long exposure to blur the water, Arsenal's gonna know that it can stop down. Or if you've got a fast moving subject like a runner, it's gonna know that it needs to have a fast enough shutter speed to stop that motion. Our depth modeling helps Arsenal know how much aperture it needs to get your entire subject in focus. And the built-in lens and camera profiles help Arsenal know how far it can push your gear before something like noise or diffraction or aberrations become an issue in your shot. The core neural network does a good job giving your photos an appropriate style, and then the environmental constraints really make sure that the shot is still gonna be sharp and low noise, and you're gonna have a lot of detail, and specifically a lot of color detail. The environmental constraints do a lot of really interesting things to make sure that you get those sharp, detailed photos. To me, it's fascinating that in 2020, you can still take a blurry photo. Arsenal 2 has a very sensitive gyroscope and accelerometer built in. And in Arsenal 2, we're, we're fusing the information from both of those together so that the second you take the shot, it knows exactly how the camera's going to be moving during the exposure. So it's able to pick this shutter speed that's going to result in extremely sharp photos, but without overshooting the shutter speed and resulting in more noise or other issues. Arsenal 2 also has a great optical flow algorithm that's able to read frames off the sensor and then determine how quickly objects are moving across the frame. By using that information and also looking at the similar photos, if it determines that it wants to freeze in the motion, it can know exactly the shutter speed needed so that the pixels don't blur as the object moves across the shot. There's even a lot more complexity in the code that runs Arsenal's smart mode. But the end goal is really to make it so when you push the trigger button in the app or the shutter button on your camera in handheld mode, Arsenal's really done the work to make sure that you get good looking, sharp photos with good color, good texture, and photos that have sort of an artistic consistency to them. We've been working really hard on Arsenal's smart mode technology for quite a few years now, and Arsenal 2 really lets us make a lot of big improvements to it. People took some amazing shots using smart mode with Arsenal 1, and I can't wait to see what you guys are gonna be able to do with Arsenal 2. Thanks.